Uh, from Esports. Harmonix. How long? You know the EA Sports guys? They make e all the EA Sports. sports. <laughs> you mean EA Sports? Yacht Sports? I mean, I mean <laughs> live from the Prudential Center in the oh. Microsoft Store, it's Gamers Summit. Oh, hey. Wow. <laughs> 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 With Eric Rubino. <laughs> Oz <laughs> Krasinski. <laughs> That's so wow. good. So if we were in Raccoon City, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're out drunk. The... Yeah, I like Did James I give like, you something. To I like that logo. All right, like let's let's start. Let's start. It's, 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 okay. it's the fifth of my yeah. That's Demaya. what it is. Chico is five. It says the fifth of May. Look, Chico. yesterday was May the fifth. Be with you. Today is Revenge of the Fifth. Yeah. Revenge of the Fifth. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome gamers to the GAU Gamer Summit where we discuss the latest and greatest industry trends in the video game industry. I am your host Eric Rickety Beans Urbino and I am joined as always by a very esteemed panel. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves. I am Drew D3 Frere. Adrian AK Beast. <laughs> uh, Oz Sanguinary Oz, that works. We are all <laughs> part of... <laughs> Why did you do that to me? Anyway, sorry. No, no, that's good. I like it. I like it. Keep rolling. Good, good keep yeah. rolling. Keep it going. Just keep the energy going. Yeah. I've no problem with that. So what are we talking about today? Okay, here? let's... Yeah. So today we, uh, you know, in light of very, very, very recent news, a new Kickstarter was announced today. And the Kickstarter is by Harmonix. Harmonix. Yeah. There you go. Um, the right, right out of Cambridge, Massachusetts, uh, very close to That's where we local. are now. It's very they local. are, yeah. So we all know Harmonix. They worked on Rock Band. They worked on some Guitar Hero. Um, they make some other games. They're also working on a game called Chroma, yeah. which uh, is in alpha stages right now. They're working on but Fantasia too. Fantasia. Fantasia. But they also so they are they have a Kickstarter and they are asking for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. To remake the you PS2 surprised. favorite Amplitude. I just don't get why a AAA well company like that needs to needs to kickstart so their game. The Whoa. Adrian, okay. you I'm are just posing Adrian's the coming question. Right, I'm going out. I'm going out. Adrian, well, as yep. it just so happens, you I mean, are in the right crowd to ask that question. Okay. Um, all right, so the I mean, I can't answer specifically as to why they're asking for the money, but in general, I mean, a Activision used to have a deal with them, and they made rock. They made Guitar Hero, which a lot of people know. They made the first one. They made the second one. And Activision was all about, you know, they're all about the yearly franchise. So they were like, okay, let's make another one. Okay, let's make another one. And they were like, well, we're still working on two. And they were like, well, let's go. You know, the, the clock's running. Like, you got to put this out. So then after they put out two, they basically got out of their contract. And in order to break the contract with Activision, they had to give up the rights to Guitar Hero, which mm -hmm. was their franchise, which indicates to you how rough it must be to work for Activision at times. Because they were just like, <laughs> you can have it. Like, we're just going to, we're done. Like, we just don't want to work for you anymore. Wow. <laughs> so then they worked on uh, Rock Band, and that was their new franchise. And while they were working on Rock Band, uh, Activision gave Guitar Hero to, like, you know, Red Octane. Yeah, and they give it to other people. Um, and they, they, like, they and Neversoft, uh, or no, NCSoft, and they, like, they, they put those ones out. How was, um, I mean, how were those versions? Were those they're okay. I mean, they, nothing wrong with yeah. that. Guitar Hero 3 was one of my favorite games of all really time. It had some up. great songs. And there just and wasn't any. There wasn't anything new to it. It's it was a like, formula. More songs. Like yeah. they didn't. They didn't change anything. Whereas yeah. Rockman was like, they're like, hey, you've seen Guitar Hero. Now you can do everything. The, yeah. Like they, uh, Harmonix wanted to do more, and they were originally going to do that for Activision, but because they hurried them, they were like, just like, you know, what, whatever. We're just going to get out of here and take our idea. Okay. Um. So then they were owned by. I want to say they were owned by Viacom for a little while, and then Viacom a couple <laughs> years ago sold off everything. Um. And Harmonix, kind of like, they basically got their own rights back, so they're they're essentially an independent. And they're a big studio, so people know them from what they've done, like Amplitude and Guitar Hero and Rock Band. But they don't really, I don't think they have a publishing partner at the moment. And they're not big enough to publish on their own. They can't self-publish. So I think that's probably why they want a Kickstarter. So they can kind of keep everything in-house, do everything themselves, kind of crank it out that way. And they can also make Amplitude as, like, to the degree that they want it, mm -hmm. as opposed to being pressured into a launch date because of a publishing partner. So and Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Amplitude came out pre-Activision ownership. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's why they're able yep. to keep that hold was of it. that property. Sony yep. published Amplitude, and I yes. believe Sony still owns the rights to it. Okay. I mm. think I'm, I'm like, 98% sure that they still own the rights to Amplitude um, because it was public. Two of the games, the spiritual successor to another game, the name is slipping, slipping my mind right now, but Amplitude is actually a spirit, spiritual successor to that game, yeah. um, and Sony published both of them. Right. So 
basically what we're looking at is... They might be like co-owners or something. Yeah. The, who knows what the contract they signed. But basically what we're looking at is, you know, this company is asking for basically a million dollars. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, that's like three quarters of it. Isn't that a bit... Yeah. Isn't, <laughs> that's a lot of money to make up another quarter. Isn't that a lot of dollars. money, though? Like, to put, like, when we have other games that are, at, or are asking for, like, Rain World, we, we recently interviewed, they asked for a mere $20,000. Yeah. You know, what does it cost to really make an indie game? Because Acti or Harmonix is not a big studio. No. Th they are not big at all, so it is indie. You so it is indie. It. You're going to consider it indie. I would, I would 100 But it's like, it's like we talked about before. If, it's, if a lot of it's music, like if they're going to use stuff that's licensed, they have to pay all the licensing fees. True. So that might be where some of the money's going. I don't remember, I don't remember the, the music layout for Amplitude. I don't remember what it, the songs It was were. all like it the like in-house stuff. And you followed it around and did different instruments at a time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but weren't there? It would like add the beats <laughs> together. It, so was, maybe, it was all yeah. original compositions, maybe, maybe and they, they are wanna, they want to do original compositions, but they are also looking so for. So then that's probably why. It's a really cool deconstruction of music because you right. get to do each part and then add them all together. Maybe that's why. Maybe they maybe they want to try to get the licensing so they can put in some stuff that's that's not just you know stuff that's made for the game. They want to have that classics that people really cool. recognize. Yeah, that makes because sense. Because that's what they do yeah. for you know rock band, and they probably own some of the rights, but they probably need to expand on some of them. That's probably what the money is for, because yeah. that's big money. I'd like to see Daft so Punk songs. That'd that'd be sweet. I mean, that'd be sweet. Some, some justice, some yeah, so anything like that. I'd be the electronic be awesome. age lends itself very well some to amplitude. It does. Original songs were electronic ones. I just. Think dubstep, no, no, I'll, I'll draw the line at dubstep. Oh, you don't want to hear some. Like, I don't need to hear two robots, like, you know, getting, getting it off. <laughs> like, you probably don't like Daft Punk either. I love Daft Punk. Daft Punk's but you don't like but they're not dubstep. What's no. wrong with dubstep? But they are two robots really getting it on. Do we no, <laughs> no, no, let's not digress into <laughs> this. I was sorry. like, if you want the breakdown, I will I'll oh, draw yeah, some yeah, All right, Oz is very racist, but we'll move on. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's too far. That's not fair at all. I think really it comes down to is, like, why can't this, why can't, they find a publisher for their title, and they probably could. You know, they probably want to keep it in house so they don't have to be pressured. So they have they have a, like 18 days to fulfill this money, and you know we should probably what check are they, what on are they at right now? Is right Go now. Ahead. Um, Eric, I think what you're forgetting is that they've been burned before by their publisher, yeah. so they want to well, avoid that at all costs. Well, I mean, look yeah. at and, and also that's not like a huge sum of money. Look at uh, Star Citizen. How much have they raised? Like 23 yeah. million yeah. or something. Ooh, God, but that's so. Serious? Star Citizen is a space simulator what where it's gonna take that like long to make. 23 where million. For I, I had a huge discussion with a buddy of mine who is a massive like sci-fi space game. And he loves Star Citizen. <laughs> Your buddy's a massive sci-fi space He's game? a massive fan of space. Oh, okay. <laughs> he is a so game. So he, uh, he is a game. Um, <laughs> but so he, he invested in, uh, there's like a zero return or some game. And th there's three of them. He invested in Star Citizen and two others. And they're all very similar. Giant, open world, you know, space exploration. Uh, you know, it's got ship customization, all that stuff. Very similar to Star Citizen. But he was talking about how the other two companies have raised probably, I want to say, 30 or 40% less than Star Citizen. That's a and lot they, of percent. They all started yeah. at the same time. <laughs> if it's 23 million, that's a huge amount. Jeez. But they've all started about the same time in terms of the Kickstarters. And the other two companies literally have playable demos. And Star Citizen's like, hey, this week we added you can customize your fish tank. Like, that was their big, <laughs> so, like... Hey, really that was a moment. feature in Mass what Effect. What the heck? Why are they... <laughs> but that was something that they, like, marketed. Like, by the way, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you can also get a fish tank for Shepard. Well, this <laughs> shows me that we need to start a Kickstarter for an open-world space oh my game. God, no, ships. we don't. I no, we don't. Get how they're well, getting if we want to be rich, we will. How are they getting 20 Well, the point is, the point, well, uh, to add into that, if you want to be sense. rich, this, this company actually today is getting sued. It's not a video game company, but they were going to make poker cards, so... Um, you know, normal deck of cards, but with a style. And Nintendo started that and way. And they um they s they took they took all the money from their backers, and they got sued by Washington State because a lot of their funders were from Washington State. So this is saying that like if you don't put through what you're asking for, you might get sued for. Oh, what they you're got doing. sued by the people from Washington who. Yeah, who okay. wanted the game? They the, funded the game. I thought the Kickstarters got sued by Washington State. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Washington State is probably pursuing the. the They're pursuing the, the interest lawsuit. exactly Good. because the bulk of Good. the. Good. Let's see some accountability in Kickstarters. Jeez. Well, hey. it's like a money grab so right now some, for everyone with an idea. Aren't, though, what's the What's the other one? There's another one. If you like, if you do, it's almost like a Kickstarter. It, it's a. It's a. It's a crowd fund. What is it? Indie, oh, go go fund me, Indie go go. Yeah. Some passerby just so, said that. So those are so those <laughs> are similar. So it's a crowdsourced project, but if you don't, like if your project falls through or if you, you're not unable to do it, you you have to return the money. Mm. But Kickstarter you don't have to return the money. I mean, well, well, no, isn't the that where the money does the money go back to? If they don't earn, if they don't earn if they what they're the asking, the they have to. So if they don't earn the seven hundred fifty thousand dollars that they're asking it for, the it all goes to Kickstarter. It all goes to Kickstarter. Not yeah. the people who gave it. 
Nope. It doesn't go back. The people who gave it, that's it, something that you take your, your inherent risk, risk yeah. as you're Literally putting it into the game. Wow, Kickstarter must make so, it a killing. So oh, they at, do. right yeah, now, there do. there's 17 days to go. It started today. Uh, it is up to $103,000. Okay, so so it's a, it's a seventh yeah. of the way. Oh, my God. Today. In one day. With three thousand three hundred sixty nine, we could backers. make this a reality. So Don't fail I, I, me, guys. I can't, I can't, I can't stop to think about the fact that a game is getting twenty three million. And they haven't even shown anything yet. Well, they have. They've shown they, a lot. They just don't have a. They don't have a playable demo that you can try. It's two point three million, and okay, they don't. Okay. Two they've only shown off. I'm like, geez, twenty three million. I, I moved the decimal. They yeah, only. They only showed off, you know, ideas with it. But like people they have a are customizable investing. Ship hanger thing, I think. Yeah, you're investing. Like, yeah, you you're investing in an idea and a pursuit more than you are a product. Because let's be real, you know. You would still buy that game if it was sixty dollars, but you may kickstart it because you get a free copy of the game, yes. and you can help fund the development of a game. I mean, your input will go into creating the game. So, does that benefit a studio like Harmonix who wants to make their own game? Are they going to get overly influenced by the fans? In this case, I would say no, because it's it's not like it's an unknown quantity. They're like the whole idea is they're remaking um, Amplitude, which people they're remaking know and love, it. So. They're remaking it. Right, so it's it's they're going to take some liberties, but people aren't going to be like, oh, it's a first person shooter like Call of Duty. Like that's not going to happen. It's going to be like Amplitude. Oh, it's definitely so. going to be like Amplitude. I'm, 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 they just said, "quote We certainly have lots of crazy ideas that could blow this concept out. Your contribution, feedback, and community input will decide where this project will land and how many crazy ideas we can incorporate." Mm -hmm. So they're kind of, while asking, you know, I don't want a publisher to tell me what to do, but they would rather have fans bicker over it. Where's the I, I just kind of don't see a positive or a negative to either one of these situations that they could get themselves into. I think there's an important like status coming out of this that like we could see more in the future with people asking for money to remake popular games from the past. Like I for one love to see Nintendo open this up for some three D S titles from old N sixty four titles. I'd like to see the remake. But yeah. should Nintendo but isn't isn't Kickstarter for <coughs> people who don't have name and cred to get yeah. their thing yeah. started? Nintendo. You know, at what point are you encroaching on? That brings yeah, me to my I, second. You know, point. you want it like uh, yeah, I agree we play that other uh, an, the, another really good game. Um, one two three, kick it, drop that beat like an ugly baby. It plays a lot like something like this, where that, that game is, is taking its own. You know, awful. it's taking its own mm. stride into this world where they just want to remake a game and collect money from fans of the original. Yeah, that brings me to my second point, which is that this is a really easy nostalgia money grab for anyone who wants to do it. I'm not accusing Harmonix of it, but right. I'm thinking that if this succeeds, we're going to see a lot more of that. Yeah. Real of course, fast. which, which it's again, cheap, I don't, though. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with that. Like, if, if it's like, hey, here's this thing that you kind of want. Do you want us to make it? If enough people are like, yeah, make that. I don't see that's a problem. But in terms of your doesn't affect me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And if I don't want it, I'm just not going to yeah. invest but, in it. But isn't it free market? Isn't it messing up the opportunities it. for people who don't have the, I guess that that yeah. wide of a reach. So are they just taking advantage of their pool? On whatever they've created in the past. When you know? Tim Schafer does a Kickstarter, does Tim Schafer really need a Kickstarter? No. Yeah. But is he asking for one, and did it succeed? Yeah. Well, yeah. like Tim Schafer is pretty successful. I don't think he has enough money to just bankroll a couple of games out of his own pocket and Not pay all his guys. Not his own pocket, like, but he has the cred to, you know, to he, a studio. He absolutely, uh -huh. he absolutely does. But it, again, I think uh, I think a big reason why a lot of these guys that have some cred, like a Harmonix or you know, or or the guys over at Double Fine, I think the reason why they do that is so they can again avoid the sort of looming shadow of a publisher telling you what to do and how to do it. I, I mean, again, like, we've, we've talked about this before. Like, everybody knows I'm a huge Destiny fan. The the contract that Bungie signed with Activision, they went into with a lot of trepidation because they're like, well, with everything we've heard from the guys at Infinity Ward and the guys at Harmonix, like, it's like, clearly there's a track record mm -hmm. with certain publishers, and we don't want to do that. And they were like, no, 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 it's cool. We, we've changed, man. We're all new. <laughs> so, like, the contract that they signed is is ex extremely Definitely well thought out yeah. and very well defined in terms of what Activision can and can't do and the power is with Bungie and it's it's a long-term contract which is which is okay that's what Activision wanted they were like okay we want this we want this game and Bungie was like okay cool we'll do that but we want it on our terms it's 10 years and that's all we're doing we're not doing anything else we're not doing maps for Call of Duty or anything else you want we're just doing Destiny that's all we're doing for 10 years and Activision was like, well, and they're like, well, we could go to, you know, EA. And they were like, oh, okay, let's sign that. So Bungie was in, a, was in a unique position where they had a lot of power based on their reputation, where they had that leverage to operate with. But they're clearly in the minority in terms of, of studios that have that clout to negotiate a deal 
with a you know an EA or an Activision where they're on like the the plus side. I that usually doesn't happen. I would hope so. I remember uh, this company. I think it was called Oculus Rift, and they sold <laughs> to some other big company after they had a very successful Kickstarter. So after that, I'm kind of very uh, cautious about what I want to put money into on Kickstarter if I know that hey they could just. Sell it. Se- sign yeah. up to Sony anyway and have it published by Sony and get an extra million dollars to make the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you're absolutely right. You gotta be cautious. I mean, some of the stuff is good though. Like, um, I don't know if anybody's a, a big tabletop guy, but like, there's a at PAX they had the Robotech game, or the the guys who do Robotech were at the at the at the PAX convention, and um, I was asking them about their game, and it's it's super cool. It's it's I don't know if you guys remember the old Robotech cartoon or the anime oh, or yeah. the, the I books. Didn't, I didn't I watch like they're they're great. It's like it, it's literally like the it's the it's the series that sort of jump started Transformers. Oh, like okay. if anybody had the Jetfire toy, that's literally a Robotech Veritech that they rebranded and they got sued. Mattel got sued for using it. Oof. But it's so there's all these robots that turn into stuff and they fight giants. And it like the concept is great. So these guys at um oh, who is it? It's not Fantasy Flight. Um can't remember who it is, but so they decided that uh, they decided they were going to put. Oh, it's Palladium. So Palladium used to own the the rights for the tabletop game, like the the you know the pen and paper Dungeons mm-hmm. and Dragons type of game. And then they were like, hey, let's make a miniatures game because those seem really popular. So they were like, well, let's see if a Kickstarter works. And people literally came out of the woodwork for this because it's like a huge cult following. And they like crushed every goal that they put up. They're like, well, if you if you give us this much money, what is that? What's with the MIDI <laughs> tunes? <laughs> And this is the GAU dance yeah, party nice. section right. of the podcast. Anyway, so anyway, so uh, so so their, their Kickstarter, their Kickstarter me. went really well, and it um it, it made a ton of money. And <laughs> Adrian's falling apart. And Adrian Can, will never be on the summit yeah. again. What just happened? So um that was pretty cool. All right, some technical difficulties. Uh, I still hear it. That's yeah, it's that. It's that. Terrible. Anyway, so um. <laughs> So they crushed all their goals, and each time they've added more, Sorry people keep coming back and they're like, oh, we want it. And initially it was like, well, if you give us money for the Kickstarter, like, you know, if it was like the minimum bid was like, you know, we give you a, like a, you got like a t-shirt. And then the second one was like, you got a copy of the game. And the next one was like, you got a copy of the game and the expansion. And just up and up and up and up. So literally people have that's everything. That's how backers now. work, yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really cool. And again, that's an example of, that's an example of a Kickstarter being used the right way and it actually succeeding. This guy. <laughs> Drew, are you serious? <laughs> Oz sorry, made a I'm really sorry. good point. I'm sorry. Too. I'm sorry. I'm it's really like so having it's a tablet, having a tablet derail, like literally just yeah. un, just unmade the whole show. Oh yeah. God. Well, you Frank, you can edit around this. <sighs> that's it's just it's the point is like yeah, people are gonna back this game. I think more for the fact that they want to be like, oh, I loved Amplitude in the past, right? And therefore I'm gonna find it. And who knows what it'll take in the future? Like we've seen with the million games, Call of Duty, Battlefield, where right. they where they keep making iterations, and it's always not the best. Um, but uh, that's different because that's that's the that's the the developer or the publisher's money <laughs> that's going into that. You know, I mean, that's that that's really like that that's really like you know, Activision is footing the bill. So if if, if they come out with another Call of Duty and it falls on its face, th- it's not really a big hit for them. Like they're, they're like, well, you know, whatever, we made money off these other things. I mean, you also have companies like THQ who don't they don't invest in the correct IP, and then they have one do really well, and then they ignore their their tech team and they put out something that isn't going to do well, and they know it, and they they're like, nah, you guys are wrong, it'll be fine. And then they, they don't they can never recover from that. Like THQ's big yeah. breakdown was what a year ago they sold everything off. Yeah, or not quite it, like was, a year ago. it was just over a year ago. Yeah. I think. But literally two years prior to that was when they had their big dip that mm-hmm. killed them, and they kept having successful titles come out, which kind of like kept them afloat. And then they were like, well, we can't make our books balance. So then they sold everything off. Yeah. But well, so then the opposite of that would be a Kickstarter. You you get all this money, you use it all, the game sucks, and no harm no foul i think they're Mm. kind of losing this where you have to kind of stand strong i mean obviously it'll get less cred and nobody else will do a kickstarter but uh it's kind of puts yourself and they have nothing to lose yeah what are they losing by doing a kickstarter they don't lose anything it's because it's smart but i think also what you did with the point on them actually using the back door maybe taking sony offer if they do ever offer that means you're just getting might not only be sony it might be hell microsoft anybody could want to get in on it I can see that game being really cool in like the Vita, yeah, with the touch screen. That would be really cool. It's an interesting concept. Well, I think kind of we touched on anything. Drew, you have anything final you want to finish no, yeah, off I'm with? I'm excited for it. I, I really love the original game. I can't wait to see it on PS3 and PS4. Yep. Which 
I mean, that's probably going to factor a little bit into the high price, too. They're developing for two different systems. And only two systems, though. They're not going to yeah. put it on Xbox One or anything. I'd love anything. to see it. Like, it's it's PS2, so the graphics aren't that crazy. You could see it on Vita pretty easily. Am well, yeah, I but, wrong, guys? But again, like, they're, remember, they're not doing it as a port. That's why they need the money. So it's, it's going to be a, like a reimagining of the game. Yeah, it's a, it's so a reimagining. Right. So it's the same game? It's a sequel. So that's another it's a thing sequel. I want to get. It's, no, a it's, it's, it's a sequel? It's, 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 like a a, sequel. it's like a based on game. Okay, it's so it's a, not yeah. a remake. It's they're not just making the same game. It's no, not no, no, like no, they're no, just no. putting a new coat of paint on it. It's not an update. They're not like, you know, reskinning the game. It's a whole new game. So it is a new game. It would cost, yeah. Okay. It costs too much for a reskin. Yeah. It's not like it's Killer Insect where they're like, hey, let's make something just that looks exactly the same, but. You know, updated. Like, it's not that they're making Maybe. a whole new amplitude. Yeah. Well, I mean, I like I said, I'm, I'll I'll be into it as long as they don't give it away to somebody after earning all this money. This will really prove if a studio like this, who has big name but is still indie, can actually pull a good Kickstarter and fund the project the right way. Well, that goes back to the whole like you know what makes an indie company indie is it like are they indie because they're they're independent and they're not like under someone's brand or are they independent because they're small and that's a big argument that gets lost. Like, well, it's independent because it's independent. They publish it themselves. Well, right, but that's the point. They're 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 only publishing it themselves if they can do this Kickstarter because they they've had huge publishing partners in the past. Uh -huh. Whereas like most indies, they're typically startups or they're really small and they don't have any publishing. What's everything they're doing? They're trying to do on their own. Yeah. Whereas Harmonix is. Harmonix is only an indie now because they've lost their publishing partner. I wouldn't really put them in the same category as, like, you know, the guys at Swim Sanity. Or it's like single like A. Yeah, they're not indie. It's, it's like, like single like, oh, A. They're like, you know, yeah, they're like, we're also indie. It's like, you're not indie, really. Yeah. Like, Let's be real. You're like double A. Double A. Yeah. yeah. Double A. Uh, 505 is like double A. Yeah. Yeah. And 505 <laughs> has worked with multiple, multiple yeah. publishing partners. But, again, I, like, would you say they're independent because they're not, they're not in someone's barn, so to speak? Like, they're not signed to a long-term contract and they just work for them? Whereas, like, you know, EA and Activision and, um, uh, was it Deep Silver? Like, they have a bunch of in-house publishing arms that are yeah, developers that work for them. So they're all under long-term mm. contracts. But there are, there are other ones like 505 who keep they, – they, they fulfill a contract and then they move they on move to the next on. one. Yeah. They're not, like, long-term. So. Makes sense. We shall see. That sounds like another topic for yeah, another Yeah, it does. It does. What yeah. makes an indie? Yeah, what yeah. makes an Indian? If you actually want to see that, send us messages, and if we get enough, we'll do it. Yeah, let Tune us in. let us know what you think about harmonics as well in the comments because I this I think gamers are going to be really kind of split on this. Um, some people consider it a big company, and some people don't. It comes back to what's an indie. Yeah, right. But, Good um, question. You know, always always interesting uh, interesting topics on the gamer summit. Yep, we've ended our summit by just giving you a different question. <laughs> You're welcome, We're posing gamers. another tune one. In, tune in next but time. Yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, we will make two we questions have high hopes. <laughs> yeah, we have high hopes for Amplitude. Um, but that is all that we have this week on Gamer Summit. Make sure you check us out at GAUstudios.com. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. If you Tumblr, whatever Tumblr is, and go ahead and do that. Tumble. <laughs> and that is all that we got for you this week. Game on.